Seriously, bugger off. You're annoying me. No, don't breed. Don't breed. No. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Unawful Blocks. This is episode 61, getting very close to episode 64 now, which is awesome. And today we are starting off next to our villager trading hall because today we have finally upgraded to 1.16.2 which is awesome but unfortunately it means that we have some work to do because as you can see a great example of that is my villager breeding system is broke so i don't know what has actually happened but i think they've changed They've changed villager mechanics somewhat, but I didn't think they would change the way they get in and out of beds, but apparently they have. So we've got this situation going on here at my villager breeder, which basically means that this kind of setup is obsolete because we were supposed to have like all the villagers on that trap on that little post there. And then it gives the babies and the babies fall out through the gaps. But obviously that hasn't worked because we've got villagers on the beds instead so this isn't working luckily we still have a load of villagers down here at least so we're not too bad on villagers however you guys probably can tell what's next this farm my beautiful iron farm has broken rest in peace my friend rest in peace yeah this is completely broken because of them changing the villager mechanics so the problem we're getting is that the villagers are not waking up on top of their workstations they're actually just like waking up on the beds instead which is kind of a pain in the butt so i think i've got a way to fix this but as you can see we're losing quite a lot of villagers we've lost one here what sorry we've lost two here we haven't lost any there we've lost two on that so that's four and then another two there so that's six villagers then i think we've lost two here as well and three there that's 11 villagers we've lost <laughs> 11 villagers already that's not even half of it then we've lost another two here that's 13 15 here because there's only two villagers here <laughs> 19 including these two so we've lost 19 villagers i haven't got a clue where they went to i think they've probably just died oh no there's one down there so 18 villagers <laughs> i still gotta put these guys back in Oh, no, there's a few villagers down here. So there's one here and one there. That's okay, I guess. That set brings us down to 17 at least. But the rest have all gone. I haven't got a clue where they've gone. They're probably drowned in all fairness. Although villagers swim. So not 100% sure what's happened to them. All I know is they're gone. And my iron farm's not working. I haven't had any iron for the last few days now at least so i think this is going to be the first priority to do properly hopefully we can sort it out today although it does mean moving these villages again and what is going on there oh okay we got a bugged villager here for some reason <laughs> either way right so i think the first thing we need to do is see what we can do with this and i think i've got an idea on how we can fix this basically we need to move the beds one block forward to where them workstations are and we also need a way that the villagers won't get out because we don't need the workstations anymore we only really need the villagers but I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work out or not. See, they should be there, but they're not. As I say, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work out, but let's get a few bits and pieces together and see if we can figure out something with this. All right, so I've got some stuff on me. I didn't actually grab much. I literally only grabbed a load of glass and some dirt. So this should be enough to get along with, at least. So first thing I need to do is 
block this water off. What the hell just hit me then? What? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to put that down to lag. So what we need to do is basically just block that water off so that the items and stuff don't actually get lost. We need to do this for all of these platforms. So let's get doing that. And once I've done that, hopefully I can explain what we're doing next. All right. So I've blocked off all of these water things and still no iron golems have spawned yet. I've also stopped the husk he's over there he's still alive at least so he's not going to scare any of these villagers so i think the next thing i need to do is actually unfortunately dismantle most of this if not all of it yeah i need to dismantle all of this i need to get rid of all of these stations as well and i need to move these beds forward so if we can grab that quickly yeah awesome if we can i even do this properly uh let's grab a junk block if i put that there we need to make all the beds and i think it needs to be this way actually we need to make all the beds facing that way um and then what we need to do is get rid of the glass and that underneath it or whatever's underneath it shall i say so that we need to move all three of these beds so there and this one as well Hopefully I can do this without too much of a problem, but sometimes it can be a pain in the butt because we are working with villagers and beds are really annoying to place as well. <laughs> right, okay, cool. So we've got that. We can get rid of this dirt now. Can I get rid of the other one over here maybe? Awesome, so we've got that. We don't need these trapdoors either. What we do need to do next is actually just glass this in so that the villagers can't get out of here anymore. So let's place some glass around here. Hopefully he doesn't fall. <laughs> ah, I've lost too many villagers already. I don't want to lose any more. Thank you very much. And yeah. And then what we can do after this is basically just box them in like that with the beds there. So I need to do this for all of them. All of the platforms essentially. And I'm hoping that this will scare the villagers enough so that they can produce a golem. But not scare them too much so that they don't know what's going on. I might even need to add some trap doors here. I might actually do that. So if we get rid of these blocks and add some trap doors instead, this is basically just so that the villagers can see the husk that's going to be there when it stops. So if we add the trap doors like that, that should be okay. Can I get up there? No, I can get under it, but not up. And then we get rid of that. He's okay. Let's grab this stuff as well. And yeah, so hopefully that should be enough to scare the villager enough so that they can produce an iron golem but not enough so that they don't actually get go anywhere i'm hoping that that will keep the villager in place we do need to add more villagers as well and because i'm cheap i'm probably going to grab the glass from them corners as well because why not and hopefully that will work let's get up here quickly uh, i completely missed that one Try it again. Land on here. Yeah, awesome. Let's grab that glass block. Awesome. So I'm hoping this little setup here would work. So what I'm going to have to do is do this on all of the 11 platforms that we've got. So might as well just get doing this. And I think I'm going to do this in a time lapse as well, actually. <laughs>
Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that quick time lapse. I certainly had an annoying time doing this because villagers just don't want to do what you want them to but we got it in the end. It actually didn't take too long to be fair so the next thing we need to do is repopulate some of these with villagers. As you can see I've got a rail cart line here. Hopefully this is going to be good enough and this is actually where they get off to the villager breeder oh we've got some carrots here what where the are they just throwing carrots on the floor now <laughs> what how many carrots are there almost two stacks of carrots jeez man they're just throwing carrots everywhere now aren't they are there any more up there if i can actually get up there that is Jeez, man, my flying is really bad today. Right, let's get up here. Are there any more carrots? Any more? No. We do have some villagers here that we need to do at some point, but I'm going to leave them there. Hopefully they don't do anything. They just stay up there. We have a load of villagers up here at least, so that's good. So next is to try and get these guys up into the iron farm. And I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. So let's grab ourselves a button. Yep, yeah, awesome. So we've got a button. We can just get rid of this redstone line and put the button there. Do I have minecarts in here is the question. I don't think I do. We have one. Well, we've got three in there now. So that should be enough for now. I'll put some more in later. I can still see them throwing carrots around, but hey-ho. Um, any carrots on the floor? No, anyway... <laughs> Um, so yeah, so hopefully if I press this button we get a villager that goes off into the wild blue yonder or at least the minecart track and into the village of the iron farm even. Is he going up? Yep, he's going up there. That's good. Grab some more fireworks on us. Is he going to go up this one? Yep, nice. Awesome. So now he should just end up here. Let's push him in. I said let's push him in. Get go away, villager, for God's sake. Seriously, bugger off. You're annoying me. No, don't breed. Don't breed. No. What are they doing? What are they doing? No. 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 Oh, well, we got a baby. At least we don't have to put another villager in here. Um, at least I don't think we do. <laughs> Not 100% sure. Did Yeah, we got a baby here. We got a baby. No. <laughs> oh, let's try and see if we can move. See if we can put something to block these guys. I don't even know what. Yeah, what I can do is do that. Let's open that. And what? It won't. Yeah, it will. What are you doing? Let me... Let me place that there so that hopefully that little baby doesn't go out. And hopefully they don't breed again. I really wasn't expecting that. Um, but apparently that happened. <laughs> Straight away we got a villager in there. So basically... I wonder actually... For the ones that we've got two in, I've got a few carrots on me. So, say like this one. Oh no, there's three in there. There's two in there. So, yeah. Um, maybe the ones with just two in, we can actually breed up so that they've got one in there. And they shouldn't produce any more. So, I thought I had carrots on me. Let's grab them quickly. Okay, we're on here now. Let's grab, chuck a few carrots to them. Nice. The thrown carrots around now. They should actually produce a baby soon. Yep. All right. So that's easier, I guess. We could just chuck a few carrots to these guys. Let's chuck eight carrots to them and see if they breed. Actually, we probably need 16 just in case. And hopefully the baby doesn't just fall out. Although I'm very, I'm kind of expecting it will. So what I need to do now is with this one, I think it was. 
Yeah. Uh, I need to just do that. Right, hopefully they don't go out now. Let's try and see if we can get up here. And are they going to produce baby? Have they already produced a baby? Yep, they've already produced a baby already. Right, okay, well... I think that's what we can do for some of them at least. All right, so we have got all of our villagers in now. Some of them are babies still, I think, but at least we've got three villagers in each cell. So I think I have to wait until they grow up a tiny bit. Some of them have already grown up like this one. This was the cell that was being stubborn. They still want to try and get out, don't they? Um, I don't think they can. At least I hope they can't. But we've got to wait for some of these villagers to grow up. But I'm hoping that this will work now. So if we just move this guy. Let's switch that on and move this guy. Hopefully. Oh, they didn't even see him. What? We will get some iron, but... I don't think we will actually. What? Oh, yeah, we got an iron golem here. But only one. Yeah, we got another iron golem there, but they're not getting sort seen on this side. Over here, maybe? No. So, we're getting some iron at least. Um, not. Let's move. Let's get rid of all of this dirt now because we don't need that. So, we are getting some iron. That's a good thing, but not as much as we used to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of this dirt on all of the platforms and hopefully we get some more iron. This guy needs to go somewhere else. Please. Okay, fine. That's fine. That doesn't really matter. So we need to get rid of all of this dirt. And hopefully we get some iron. This probably isn't going to be as fast as the other one, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt, really. But at least we're getting some. At least we're getting some golems spawning, if nothing else. But it could be a lot better than this. Not 100% sure how I sort that one out. But hey-ho, let's get rid of all this dirt first. All right, so I got rid of all the dirt on the spawning platforms and I haven't really seen many golems since then. Like, I mean, I, I saw a few in the last clip, but I haven't seen any now. Uh, so that's, this design might be broken and I think it is. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes now, so what? we can do is launch this guy again ow stop hurting me and see what happens i'm expecting just the same to be fair but maybe not still the same thing aren't we hmm i mean if i bought these villagers forward a bit more they'd be more scared but then i'd have to move the spawning platforms and it, it would just be a nightmare um so yeah not 100 percent sure what i could do about this i mean we are getting some iron at least they are spawning just not as much as the last time i think for now i'm just going to leave this behind and see what else we can get up to because i've done quite a bit of work since the last episode not here obviously because i left this to do on camera um, but I've done a lot of work on my base, but there's something that I should probably show you guys, um, in the shopping, in the shopping district, in the city first. All right, so flying into the city now, and yeah, we have somewhat of a gathering going on over here. Hopefully they're socially distancing. Let's just have a look. One, two, three, yeah. That they are socially dis. Oh, maybe not. These two aren't. They should be two blocks apart, not three, not one. <laughs> um, some most of them are though. Although it's quite a small gathering, really, isn't it? <laughs> Seems like we've got a protest going on here. Oh, 
No more big corporations take all, taking all the diamonds. Um, I didn't really think this was a big corporation, but apparently, um, who will stick up for the masses? We hate monopolies. Buy scramble, but scrambled is okay. But scrabble is okay. Um, down with this this sort of thing. What do we want? Our diamonds and stick it to the man. Okay. Um. Stop driving small trade out of business. Well, sorry, but there's business, I guess. Oh, even a wandering trader. I didn't even notice this guy. Hi, what have you got? Anything decent? Beehive? Warp Nylium? Bone block? Ah, oh, mini bone block would be cool. See, I've probably got a bone block over here somewhere. Apparently not. All right, so I had to buy a beehive in the end, but hopefully this guy's still here and he is. That's good. Come on, buddy. No, where are you? There you are. Awesome. So beehive, nice, and warp nylium. Awesome. And I'm not going to bother with the orange concrete because I don't think we need it. Does he have anything else in? No, gunpowder's not. No. I could buy the orange tulip and turn that into concrete. And get the orange concrete block. Whether we need it or not, I don't know. But hey, we've got all of these mini blocks now. So we don't need this guy anymore. All these for a ma that matter. Did he drop a head? Yay! And you. Awesome. So I need to pick up them heads. <laughs> Let's just find a shulk box, which is not completely full. Like this one. Oh, there's some green concrete in there. Nice. Could do with that. Uh, let's just chuck that in there. Pick up this stuff. Awesome. Nice. So we got some new mini blocks at least. That's always good to have. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I'll just chuck them in here for now, I guess. One, two, you, 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 and you. Oh, and you, of course. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, I've got 21 diamonds on me, but oh well. Right, so that's that done. I think I'm going to leave this here for a little while longer, to be fair. Uh, it, it's pretty funny, but we do need to get our own back on whoever done this. And I think this is a Bex prank. So, yeah. Anyway, onwards and upwards. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we have made it to our base now and the sun is about to set. Is my bed over here? Yeah, it is. Let's have a little sleep quickly. All right, so we've slept now. It is a new day and I've been busy at my base. As you can tell over there, I've been doing quite a bit of work. So last episode, we made the foundation of this building. Not quite sure what to call it. It's just going to be named the Desert Temple for now. So last episode, we did this big building we basically covered the gold farm in it um, and then we added this texture but since the last episode I've added these pillars and a bit more to the top of this so I'm really quite liking how this is turning out I've also added these massive towers in the corners which I think look really cool I really do like the green and the sandstone together as well I think they suit really quite well um so yeah so we've got this i need to complete this on the other two sides because on the back i haven't quite done that yet but i have done this on all of the corners at least and i've also added some green concrete over on this this side as well where the pillars are so i'm not quite sure what to do with this red sandstone pillar I do think that we need to have something over here, maybe a window or some kind of entrance. Not 100% sure yet. I was kind of playing around with it on this side. As you can see over here, I've got some kind of design going, but I don't think that suits either. So I'm going to get rid of that at some point. We also need an entrance for this as well, but that's not a big problem. Um, and I've added these like green concrete stand things not really sure what to call them um but yeah so this is coming along really quite well 
um, we've still got a lot to do because we've got these pillars to do and we've also got the main central pillar or building to do which I've got a really cool idea but I've got a bit more planning to do before we actually do anything with this. So another thing I've been doing is if we just go up here into the nether portal. <coughs> awesome. So let's grab as go up here. And up here because one thing that has changed is we just get ourselves in here. Yeah, we can also we can now get blackstone from piglins. So I've been AFK here quite a bit getting blackstone. Um, pretty much I got almost two large double chests full of blackstone. But I'm down to this now because I basically put three shulker boxes worth to the never hub project which is cool uh, as you can see it also took me a lot of time to actually sort this out because i've actually emptied all these chests as well well these were empty <laughs> now they're not um but yeah so we can get blackstone from piglins now and we can also get spectral arrows which i've been using as you've probably already seen so let's grab a few more of them how many more do well we've got quite a lot <laughs> We're not going to be running short on them anytime soon, are we? And we've got quite a lot of other stuff as well. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've been up to since the last episode as well. So let's actually go through the portal again. Awesome, so we're back home now. So yeah, so I was, I did think I had enough time to actually work on this build a bit more in today's episode. But unfortunately... I am out of time for this episode. I really didn't think that it was going to take that long to do the iron farm, but it pretty much took most of the episode. So I'm going to have to do this next episode, I think, or maybe even between episodes so it can get done a bit faster. Not 100% sure yet, but I am unfortunately out of time. So I'm going to have to love you and leave you for today. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Mighty High. If you like this video, then please click the like button. And if you really liked it, then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads. I've been Mighty High, and thank you very much for watching. Good.